Hello and welcome back to Storm Edge. We're going to be checking out Bear, which we unlocked in the uh, previous run. So basic attack, 18 damage, charge short enemy, unleash a series of strikes that pull enemies closer to you and deal 15 lightning damage plus 100% evasion. Does that mean I just don't take damage while I'm doing this? That's pretty cool. Charge forward again and call or three lightning bolts at the target location. So melee combat, but also has some AoE damage, I guess. Propose to create a circle rune for 4 seconds, calls forth a lightning strike every second that deals 12 damage. Okay. And the greater dodge or the illusion is going to be create a huge circle rune for 6 seconds, calls forth lightning every second. So it's the same thing except for 2 extra seconds. Yep. That's pretty much the standard. Okay. I'm going to go and get some meta progression unlocked here. Let me see. What's like... A devotion I don't value too much. It's used for rerollings, for rerolling um, anything you can find in the runs. The statue, is, the statue at the end of each level will accept your ritual offerings of devotion. So I can trade devotion for gold. That's really insane. That seems kind of mandatory, actually. Oh, but I need reputation level two. Wait, no, I can, I can get it. Okay, I'm definitely gonna get that. I didn't read the rest. Okay, unlock another weapon slot. So this is more like power tied directly to power. So probably do want those. Here's the first relic table in the camp. What does that do? Crafting, maybe? The artisan will prepare a second relic on each relic table before it next. Oh, okay. Uh, wait. Wait, so this is the relic table? Okay, so I have a relic table and then I can have another relic pop up. Okay. Interesting. And then 15% max elixir charge. Spellcasting action is no longer needed when consuming elixir. Not sure what that means. That means there's no animation. Oh yeah, that, that probably means there's no animation, which is kind of sick actually. So instant elixir drinking, so that's really useful. Nice two cost. Okay. Let's go with... Wish I could do level two of that. What is this? You can spend three devotion to go to an unassociated level. What? Oh, okay. I can spend three devotion. I get it. I, luckily, I the, <laughs> I understood that. So when you're on the map, you can select a node that is not in your path by paying three devotion, which is kind of cool because devotion is not that useful baseline. But now that I have a few things, it's going to be a little bit more useful. Eight gold at the start. Berries recover more. Trap damage reduced. Okay, so definitely going to go with the second weapon slot, I think. I don't know what that's going to do exactly, but probably just base stats, right? Wait, I still have some... No, I can't. It's 18 for... Oh, no, there's 12. The base thing is 12. So anything on the top levels pickable here? I guess I'll just take... Um, maybe max charge? I don't know. I'll just take the gold. I think gold's really important. Let's get started. Endless snow. Check out the route. Definitely want to go to gold. Relic altar. This is teaches you a school trade. So these are... This seems pretty good. So school trade, school trade. Then we have gold. Then we have an upgrade to a move. Yeah, I'll probably... I'll do this. I think school upgrades are really good. And test this out. I should have tested some on the dummies. Okay, that's... Whoa. Wait, what is this? Is the third move that does this tornado thing? And then... Can I stop it there exactly? Yeah, I can. Okay. So it does buffer the last attack, and then we have the dodge we can't really see. What's the ability? Conjuration. Throw a shield that returns to you at a set at a set interval three times, dealing 80 lightning damage to enemies that are hit. The shield grants you a 30 barrier when you catch it. Okay, so very useful compared to compared to the other one. If Oops, I'm pressing the wrong button. Okay, interesting. Alright. You have a 5% chance to inflict one storm ripple every second. You gain one storm charge when you fail, lose all and lose all storm charges when it's triggered. Minus 10% rip riposte and illusion skill damage. Storm ripple. One 
Five percent at one storm ripple every second. What is it? Wait, what does it do when it activates? Elixir enchantment consuming elixir grants a storm ripple at the target location. It's probably just like a AOE zone. Each combo point consumed by the conjure. Oh, that's the oh combo points. It's not flow. Okay. So what is flow? Each combat point consumed by the conjuration turns into one wyvern mark. At a max, a max of six points can be consumed. Consumed by the conjuration. Okay. Conjuration consumes two wyvern marks to break a shield. Fifty percent conjuration damage. Consuming elixir restores the wyvern mark to its max. That seems good, but a little bit more complex. I'm going to do the storm. It's uh, more flashy. Anything that's more flashy, I'm going to take just to see what it does. Character seems kind of insane, actually. Whoops. What What hit me there? I'm trying to do the, <laughs> the illusion skill and stuff, but can't seem to... What does this do? Is that healing me? Wait, what is this doing? Fire? Is that... Is that debuffing enemies or something? I don't get it. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Oh, it might be like a secret thing if I light up everything. Ah. Let's see if I can do it. I'm slowed. Where's the last one? Oh, wait. I don't get it. Whoops, that was fucking massive it. I don't know. Wait, oh I took damage ring then? Holy shit, I'm taking so much damage. <laughs> Feels weird, I can't really dodge during the combo. 40% max health minus move speed, yeah sure. Yeah, it's kind of annoying, but take what you can get. Yeah, I shouldn't have used that. What's the thing again? When I drink from the... Consuming elixir triggers a ripple storm. Okay. Storm. Oh, is this a storm ripple? The crystal thing? Maybe. Okay, I'm not really sure what I'm doing with this character, but it seems to be working. You also have a timer you can see top right. You gotta clear levels in time to get all the chests. So we're still we're still good, and it looks like we got it. You can collect berries that restores your elixir. Elixir's bottom left. What is this? Okay, yep. Choose an upgrade. Consuming elixir... Of the storm takes three seconds off the combat timer. Okay, that's fine. Only three storm charges will be consumed when a storm ripple is inflicted. I don't... I haven't really <laughs> noticed when the storm ripple's procking, so I can't really tell. Six health when allies perform perfect dodge for the storm ripple you inflicted. What? Yeah, anyways, I can't spend the gold for that. Let's do... Let's do the combat timer. What is it? Oh, it's the offering. Nice. Yeah, this is how you do it. Oh, I can do it again? No, once. Okay. Yeah, that's really good that I can gain passive gold now from, from that. I don't get to choose at the start. Oh, no, there's only one time you get to choose at the start. I still don't know what these campfires do. Maybe I don't get slowed when I'm on ice? Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. I thought I would... Oh, I did dodge that, actually. Lucky. What is this? Like a ghost? Okay. A lot of enemies, and they're scattered, too. It's really annoying.
Whoa. Oh, is this guy? Jeez. I gotta thank you, too, for a little guy. 25 max health. I, I honestly do not care about my move speed, I think. I will accept the 10% penalty. Yeah, it is. It is resistance to the ground. Okay, I see. Kind of weird that I have to figure that out for myself. 15% damage increase. Anything else on the map? Nope. Nope. Oh. I can see the Storm Ripple charges. I have three right now. Let me read that again. <laughs> you have a 5% chance to inflict one Storm Ripple every second. You gain one Storm... Oh, so that's a Storm Charge. And lose all Storm Charges when it's triggered. But what do Storm Charges do? 5% chance... What? Maybe storm chargers just make it last longer? I'm really confused. Guess we'll find out. Consuming elixir of storm, so just an upgraded version of that. I don't really need the help. I'm, I'm clearing pretty fast. Only use three storm charges. Wait, can I hover with my mouse? Oh, I can. Wait, so they, how am I supposed to how am I supposed to do this on controller? All right, I guess I'm going to have to swap to my mouse just to hover. I was like, yeah, this looks hoverable. And in, in games when stuff's underlined, it's usually hoverable. I didn't think about that. Because like, there's no way for me to inspect it, right? Wait, is there? I can't. It's just so weird. They need to improve that. So each storm charge grants you a 10% chance to inflict a storm ripple in combat. You can have up to six storm charges. And a storm ripple is a minor vibration of elements while energy is harmless, but you can dodge it by using dash. Oh, so I was right. It was the crystal thing. It's a safer way to perform repose and illusions. Each storm charge, 10%. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. 8% damage dealt for every storm charge. Wait, isn't that insane? Storm charge now grants you a 7% chance... Wait, this seems insane. Storm? I'm gonna take that. Oh, so I should have hovered during my first run, too. I didn't really understand what the Viper Trap did. Do I even need gold at this point? I'll just go to school still. Like, I just don't need it. So I'm gonna place a Storm Ripple now. Oops. I didn't dodge in time because I'm... What the... Okay, that was yeah. Storm ripple. What? Oh, the trap! Trap hit me. Oh shit! I didn't. I didn't see that. That fog was an attack. This thing's like shooting like freaking frost fog at me, and I'm debuffed. Okay, Forty percent illusion skills. Well, it's my second weapon, so might as well. Twenty-five percent damage when you have barrier. I do have barrier with the shield throw, but it's a little bit inconsistent. I'm not going to take it. it. Took so much damage in that fight because I didn't notice that was a trap. And it's a trap again. Same one. A lot of damage coming out from this character. I feel like I'm just killing stuff so easily. Finishing move damage, yep. I kind of want that over illusion skills, I think. Finishing move is my final hit in the combo. You can see the bottom right, or the orange thing. When I reach the fourth hit, that's my finishing move. You can see it highlight. It's the dash thing. So I am immune during that storm. This, this character is kind of cracked. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. During that storm... Okay, maybe I need to focus on these guys. These are really annoying characters. Okay, don't mind me just taking a shit ton of damage there. Might even lose the run. 60% <laughs> burn damage. That's uh, not playable. And this 40% gold gain is kind of good, yep. Actually, it is really good. Took so much damage. So scuffed. 
Storm Ripple turns shields into red. So yeah, the shields you can only break with your with your um, combo attacks. So your regular string of attacks into a red shield, which can be broken by either illusion skills or your regular basic string. Six seconds. Okay, casting finishing move grants one storm charge, fifty percent chance of double the effect. That's pretty good. I don't care that much about the shields. I think. 50% chance to break it. Wait a minute. So Storm Pulse has a chance to just immediately break that. That is kind of busted, actually. Hmm. But I have the scaling damage off of... Uh... Hmm. Eh. Yeah, I'm going to do... I'm going to do this. A little bit low. I got to be careful. Whoa. Shit, I did not see that. Oh shit, I forgot that was a ranged attacker. That was annoying. All the purple shields are kind of annoying to deal with. Jesus, I'm taking so much damage. I'm dead. Okay. Well, that was hard. I was not playing my best, obviously, but not very impressive for me. Anyways, 17 diamonds, not enough to get a level 2 thing, but... I don't know what would help me, honestly, at this point. Oh, there's still this. Which, to be fair, is quite good. I took so much trap damage on that one level. Yeah, let's just go for berries. And head back in. School seems to be... I think school is the most important thing. So we're just going to keep doing that. It's also the coolest thing to do. Alright, basic attack damage. Casting basic attack generates an additional combo point. Basic attack turns. Wait, addition. Wait. So essentially, I'm skipping my second basic attack, going straight into the heavy attack. Basic attacks turn regular shields into red shields. It's not that good. Grizzly roaring, which deals 20 damage and grants you three combo points. Meh. Perfect dodge grants you one combo point and returns all the combo points that were lost when you triggered dash. That's kind of cool. Consuming elixir grants panther stance for six seconds. Dash does not consume a combo point. No, dash does not consume combo points when panther stance. So it allows me to keep going through my combo while, do while dodging, which is kind of not that great on bear because you have the tornado anyways. I might do this to go straight into tornado. Let's do it. Yeah, it's actually kind of cool that I go straight into my... Oops. I did go straight into tornado and dodge that somehow. Pretty lucky. Oops. It's hard for me to predict that. I don't know why. I'm not used to that hell yet. It's pretty obvious, I feel like. I'm just not looking at close enough. What is this guy gonna do? <laughs> I don't know what to expect with that guy. Holy shit. I never have time. I, it, the only thing I have complaints about in this game is the fact that your conjuration, so your spell, uses all your combo points. It just feels so weird to like you. I can't string it into my combo essentially, and it never and almost never feels better than just casting the your fine your finishing move. Set intervals because I think it gets stronger, right? The more combo points you use, I'm not I'm not exactly sure on that, but 25%. Okay, well now I now that I have a barrier synergy, 
becomes a little bit better. Gold urn's pretty good. Some berries here. Might as well use this then. More berries. Okay, I'm just going to crack this then. Back to max HP. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get that chest. Holy shit. Yeah, I did. I did spend a lot of time in that fight. Grizzly Roaring where we cast a second time, one second after the first cast. What does it do again? Grizzly Roaring was just 20 damage <clears throat> and grants you three combo points. Okay, so that's it's total 40 damage, which is actually pretty decent. Basic attacks grant one charge to Elixir the Grizzly when the enemies are hit. Whoa. This effect has a one. That's insane, actually. Yeah, I think, yeah, this is insane. I'm, I'm gonna take that. Charging the elixir seems to be a core part of this game plan anyways. All right. I'm just gonna focus on my basic attack string instead of worrying about the shield throw. It's still very hard for me to figure out when to use it. Instead of just going for the finishing move. Whoops, I dashed too early there. Jeez. Keep forgetting to use my elixir mid-combat as well, but also it has a it has an animation, so it's not necessarily safe. To do it in every single scenario. Ah, oh, I took damage from the second swing, even though I was behind. That sucks. Passage unlocked. Yep. All right. 20% crit chance. Store 7% max health when your traps kill an enemy. Okay, this is very narrow. Very, very narrow. Berries. Can't destroy this, right? It's like a bag of... Looks like a bag of money to me. But I can't get it. Shit. Should not be taking the berries without using the elixir since it recharges it. I didn't get this again? Wait, how am I supposed to know? Oh, wait, how am I supposed to know the max time I'm, I'm able to? I still don't know how to figure out what how much time I have left. This effect has a 0.2 second cooldown. Uh, Well, my basic attack doesn't come down that often, so I, I think the one second cooldown is not a downside at all, honestly. Grizzly Roaring will be cast second time, one second after the first cast. Grizzly Roaring is considered a basic attack. Whoa. Sure, that could have some synergy. That's pretty crazy, but I'll do the second. So just total 40 damage now. I have to make sure I remember to use the elixir. Oh, I see my barrier, actually. That is pretty useful. Oops, I'm stuck, I'm stuck on the pillar. Shit. The tornado is so crazy. Didn't have to use the elixir. Gold gain I already have. There's a lot of berries, don't need them. I feel like accidentally picking up berries is pretty... Damn, still 40 seconds, can't get it. Not a big deal. Crit damage is no... Second weapon and finishing move damage, that's not bad. I'll take it.
feel like we just keep going to the school, right? Unless um, special thing in repost and illusion skill? No. Ooh, but I don't actually want to go get gold at this point. So let's just do, let's go here. Can I do this? No, this only works for projectiles, right? I mean, it kind of did there. I feel like. This character's so weird. I, I don't know why they gave this character like it's just a full-on evade skill. That's just you can't really target him. You can kind of, I think you can be hit out of it though, at, at the end before the finishing move co pops up. Whoops, took damage there. Surprising. Not sure what happened, but maybe the explosion from the little bomb thing, maybe that's what happened. I don't know if it does explode or not, but... Shit, I'm rooted! <laughs> yeah, it seems to be... Maybe it is always 40 seconds, actually. That's how you know. I think the timer for the extra chests. Damage reduction against burned? Terrible. Actually worthless. Kind of weird that can offer me stuff that is just not even remotely... Well, I guess there might be a burn build with this guy. Circle rune. Enemies in the circle rune have an increased 35% chance to be dealt with crits. Grant two health points to allies who have less than 60% health. Grants two barriers to allies that with more. So I'm gaining... Wait, what? I'm gaining two health per circle? It's not that good. Summons lightning to strike with a 75% increased frequency. That does seem pretty good. Yeah, that seems pretty good. I'll take it. I feel like it's never worth to go to the the uh, gold zones now that I have the trading devotion for gold. I don't even know why I'm bothering with the shield throw, honestly. I should just keep, keep comboing. I think I could just use my potion just to do damage. Yeah, we got the 40 seconds. I don't know if this is the... Oh, that's probably what hit me, the skull. Enemies just randomly turning into skulls at, when they die. Got it. Extra devotion. Not super useful right now. What do you got for me? Grizzly Roaring increases damage. Wait. Is Roaring only procced off of me drinking? Yeah. Shit. Hmm. 20% attack speed for every combo point you have. Now, how does attack speed... Is there a description on attack speed? Does that count, like... I guess it's not showing me. Like, for example, if I'm in, if I'm in my tornado, does it increase the rate at which it does damage? I guess probably, right? That would make sense. I think I'll do it. Like, attacking faster seems to be... I mean, it, it nerfed my attack speed by taking the school anyways, right? Minus 10% attack speed, that means it's, it is relevant to the, the build. The stat that the build does want. Oops, I think it already gained shield. Make sure. Oh shit, I did not. Not ready for that one. Again, I just. I need to pay attention to that attack pattern. Are there any berries? Kind of need them. <laughs> I take so much damage from that guy every time. What is this? Weird. Weird lair. Whoa, that delay on that attack screwed me over so much. I was. I pre dodged a little bit too much there.
But I do like those type, those kind of attacks because they test your um, discipline on the trigger, which I'm very uh, trigger happy most of the time. <laughs> Not my forte, let's just say that. 15 barrier when you crit? Yeah, that's better than that for sure. Actually, I could, could use both. Finishing move damage. Crit. We do have a 20% base crit chance, right? I feel like this is actually better. Well, it says while you have a barrier. So if I lose that barrier... Like, sure, I have the shield toss that gives me barrier, but again, I'm not consistently using that. This, uh, this is scary. I took so much damage, and this is the last zone. Cuffed. Each time Fist of Lightning is cast, the next circle rune will grant six barrier. Okay, that could help. When it is created, only when it deals damage. Plus 40% damage. That's 40% damage on Fist of Lightning. Fist of Lightning is my basic attack. But I only get to cast that one time. So that's kind of weird. No, but it only says the next one. Wait, does this stack? If I do two basic attacks, it doesn't give me 12, right? I don't think so. Grant 5 barrier when you are hit. 10 barrier when cast. Doesn't charge forward anymore. I don't want that. A lot of barrier stuff. I do like this. So... Hmm. 40% damage on basic attack. 5 barrier when hit. I kind of feel like the 5 barrier when hit is kind of cracked. Because I'm going to take damage. But if I don't take damage... Hmm. Depends how good I am with dodging. I think this is just object objectively better, but... Let's see what happens. Who's there? Damn, everybody wants me to get lost. Isn't that exactly what the first guy said? No way. Is that Lily? Lily. It's me, Ulrich. Stop, Lily. That cape, you're still wearing it. I gave you that cape 20 years ago, Did you? do you remember? Damn it. Okay. Good luck. Whoa. Interesting start. Whoa, what the? Oh, I already got her through phase one. I do so much damage with her. I think we're on... Because the difficulty is a little bit too easy. Hopefully there's another difficulty. The evade is so broken. The attack speed is crazy, actually. I can tell. I can tell the difference. Yeah, this is like, this character is so broken. I don't think that tornado thing should give you evasion 100%. I don't know how to balance that, though. But I don't feel like this boss is particularly hard either way. I could probably just dodge the lasers and get a lot of value out of that. A lot of lightning strikes from my from my dodge thing. Stop it, your body can't take any more of this. Alright, that was that was easier than any boss I've faced so far. A little bit weird. Wake up, Lily. New playable character. You'll be alright, Lily. We studied fire spells. Cold doesn't bother us. You've been missing for 20 years. Of course I've aged. I went missing? I guess I'll read it, whatever. 20 years? Let's talk later, Lily. We should get off of this mountain first. Alright. 
Lilish bought Lily back to Brushwind Village to recuperate. Lily gradually regained her energy after a few days. Oh, I could not read that fast enough. What the hell? So 20 years ago, you set out on a journey to master the power of frost elementals. You encountered the blacksmith of Brushwind Village, Ben, in the nearby forest. Ben attacked you on sight. You fought him off, but lost consciousness. And you smelled a floral fragrance. And when you woke up, you saw me. I'm now a middle-aged man. That's right. It felt like... I was having a very long dream. It stretched on for so long that reality faded away. Or perhaps I haven't woken up at all. It's not a dream, Lily. You said I was missing for 20 years, but my body and my appearance... I'm hardly any different from what I was 20 years ago. It's just... there's no way. This can't be real. Lily, I'm right here. I'm real. Our reunion is real. There are still many things we haven't figured out. But we can find the answers together. Okay. The world has been changed. The world has changed a lot in twenty years. In the twenty years we've been gone, I'll catch up. I'll catch you up on everything. Don't worry. Who would want to dream of an annoying storyteller like me? I'd make them wake up. I'd make them wake right up. That's true. It's really you. I thought of you often, even as my consciousness was caught between dreams and wakefulness. I thought of you too, Lily, for 20 years. I've been searching hard for you. Lilish, do you... Lily, do you... Do you remember anything from what happened before you woke up? Even a vague memory will help. Even a vague... What? Okay, that's probably a bug. Or like... I don't know. <laughs> I remember catching a whiff of a floor scent sometimes. It's very unique, and I can't find the right words to describe it. I'm sure I've never smelled it before, but I knew it come I knew it came from some kind of flower. The first time I smelt it. Did it smell like this? Storm bloom acquired. That dropped from Lily, you can't sense any flow of magic from it. Yes, that's a smell. What is it? It's a storm bloom. Though this looks different from the storm blooms I've I've seen. We found it on you after we brought you down from the peaks. This make me lose consciousness? I failed to pronounce that, but right. <laughs> Maybe. I suspect someone used it as a medium to cast a mind-altering spell on you. Shouldn't we destroy it? It's just a medium, don't worry. Besides, it has obviously been drained of its magic. I can't remember anything. But I want to keep it as a memento. A memento of what? Of our reunion after we've been apart for 20 years. There are several stories about the storm bloom. The truth might be hidden among these half truths and fairy tales. Do you remember anything else beside the floral fragrance? Um, a dark figure. I think I saw a vague, dark, and tall figure when I smelled the flower. It was really tall and seemed to be wearing a top hat, which made it look even taller. Tall, dark, top hat, and a storm bloom. Zachro. It's Zachro, the master of the storm bloom merchant guild. No one else fits that description. He definitely knows something. The Stormbloom Merchant Guild? Is it a guild of merchants? Yes. Storms began to appear all over in the years following your disappearance, and Stormblooms flourished in the disaster in the dis disaster areas along the storms. The Stormbloom Merchant Guild is a guild of merchants specializing in the trade and collection of Stormblooms. Wait, did this game get an update between <laughs> my two runs? I feel like the translation is, is pretty good here. Like... I don't have I don't know, I didn't see any mistakes compared to like the start of the game, which is weird. Usually it gets worse as we go, right? But that's what you would expect. So maybe they already corrected it. Did I read this? Is the Guild of Merchants especially in the in the trade and collection of Stormblows? The dark figure you described sounds a lot like their leader, Zachro. He might know something. We should go talk to him. Okay, so where can we find him? The Golden Valley, headquarters of the Stormblow Merchant Guild Guild. You still need to rest, Lily. Leave this to Storm Edge. Storm Edge. What's that? It's a long story, and I'll tell you about it next time. In short, it's a wizard guild I formed with my friends. Lilish, you're the founder of, the, of a guild? Didn't you say that you just wanted to stay at the academy to teach and live a quiet life? This world changed a lot after you went missing. I changed too. I can't believe it. I must still be dreaming after all. Lily. Just kidding. I got you. Lily, you've changed too. No. I've aged. I was just an 18-year-old lad the last time we chatted and laughed like this. Hey, mister, can I join Storm Edge? Don't call me mister. Yep, new character. 
That was a lot of exposition, I feel like. <laughs> Which does feel, I don't know, like it's it's fine, but I really just don't care that much about the story in this game, so I just want to play. <laughs> we can check out Lily in the next video. I won't go over her skills because that's going to be what I'm going to do at the start of the next, uh, next video. Hope you enjoyed. I'm having fun. I think uh, the game definitely needs a difficulty upgrade, but I guess we're probably going to get that after we clear everything, right? There's probably no difficulty increase until we beat all the acts, which is fine. And then if it has enough for replayability, we can just keep going. But that boss fight was uh, definitely underwhelming difficulty-wise. Maybe because Bear is so broken. Uh, yeah, this character is busted. I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a way to balance his tornado immunity thing, but it doesn't, like nothing, I don't think there's a way to balance it. I think that should just not be a skill. Because it removes, it kind of just removes core mechanics from the game, right? Of like actually dodging and being alert. It feels like with the additional attack speed that I found, it was just constantly going into tornado mode and just <laughs> being immune. But even without that, I do think that boss fight was still a little bit too easy. Like the the, the beams are pretty easy to dodge. Then you get that, you get the illusion skill off. Or maybe just my, my school was too good. I don't, I don't think so. I think it was just the character. Either way, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.